we've seen uh, these renewed uh, protests in support of Guaido. How much appetite is there for regime change in Venezuela, do you think? Is this the end of Maduro's, uh, if you want to call it, socialist dream? Yes, good morning and thank you for having me. Um, I think that the Venezuela, the situation is ready for change. There's polls show that over 80% of the population want a change in the presidency, that they're, they're suffering too much to the situation. Um, so on that, on that side, we're ready, Venezuelans are ready for change, yes. Um, there was a, an opinion piece written by uh, Juan Guaido in the New York Times saying that he'd held, or he was claiming he'd held secret talks with the military. If that is true, would that be a game changer? The military, of course, has been on uh, Maduro's side all along. And would it also essentially be doing what the US has been trying to do all along, potentially, which is to try to change hands without bloodshed? Well, I think uh, what's important to understand here is that the only player that has yet to 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 make a decision is the military, right? At, at the moment, the military is in the status quo supporting the government, but they're the one actor that is needed to change um, to change positions, right? Um, the, the, as I told you, the public wants change. Um, the international community is supporting this this new situation. Um, the Congress is ready for this new this new situation. Um, so at the moment, what it's the the only thing that is holding Maduro in power is the support of the military that it's trying to assess what's going to happen um, with a regime change. Now, if the military does not uh, switch sides and if Maduro does try to cling on uh, to power, how far do you think the US is prepared to go? Do you think it will actually uh, send troops to Venezuela? Well, that's a that's a unknown answer. We don't know. I think uh, it's speculation. Um, the, the US has given signals, significant signals, that um, they are ready to intervene strongly, um, especially if a certain set of conditions are um, are not met in terms of if, if the life of, of Guaido is attempted to, or if the government closes the Congress, um, or if they attack the United States Embassy or something of the matter. Um, the U.S. has signaled this. Uh, we don't know to what extent they're willing to carry out with their word, um, but um, that's the, the big question, and, and I think that's why all the movement in through the international community and through the uh, Venezuelans and the opposition leaders um, to push the military to see that it's the time for change, it's the time to return to the constitutional um, yes. convention through democracy. And, and, and on the other side, of course, you've got Russia supporting uh, Maduro. How much of a check might that be uh, to UK, uh, US rather, influence in Venezuela? Well, at the moment, the only big actor supporting strongly the Venezuelan regime is Russia, right? China is taking a side uh, note to it, um, but Russia has been active in lending money and in supporting the, the Maduro regime with different uh, things. Um, so it's important to, in terms of the international community, whether Russia can be um, uh, can stop supporting the Maduro regime. That would be an important signal to the military that it's the time has come.